upstairs and in the north bar were just two dress rehearsals. Every year, this is always the best group. So don't tell anyone downstairs that want to put them up here and make it work faster. Now, there's a, a twofold purpose to what we do tonight. First, we have to create a lot of racket with drums and bagpipes to summon the ghost of Robert Burns. I mean, he's been in his grave for 200 years, and it's cold, and he doesn't want to come out, so we have to create enough of an uproar to get him out. But about a week ahead of time, I begin channeling him to get inspiration for this year's poem. So in any case, this one uh, actually has a theme uh, with the uh, uh, clan of Armstrong from uh, Scott. It's called uh, Burns' is Drug-Free Ghost, and it's dedicated to Lance Armstrong. <laughs> From Glasgow to the Hebrides, when Scottish bagpipes wail, and drummers drum for Robert Burns, tis time to drink Scottish ale! Some things never change. Tis the day when all of Scotland drinks to Robert Burns, and if he drink enough Scotch ale, old Robert's ghost returns. His ghost returns resplendent with his foreign tam and kilt, and he's been known to curse in verse should his scotch ale be spilt. His kilt's the pride of Scotland, it bears the family tartan. He wears nothing underneath, Burns' his ghost is spark. <laughs> Although the ghost is somewhat shy, he just need lift a glass of scotch ale, then he'll lift his kilt for every passing glass. <laughs> On Burns' night, he eats haggis, scotch eggs, and cock leaky while lassies lift the laddies' kilts to sneak a little peeky. <laughs> On Burns' night, lads and lassies seem to lose their fear, shedding kilts and inhibitions on this night every year. Scotch ale gives the elderly the vigor of their youth. It may have helped Lance Armstrong sort of tell the truth. <laughs> Lance finally admitted he'd been doping all along. He told Oprah Winfrey, doping helped a man live strong. But Burns' ghost of Scotch Ale is all a laddie needs for him to do triathlons and other manly deeds. You don't need syringes and bottles full of pills. Scotch Ale is a panacea for all your bodily ills. The shepherd in his cottage and the king inside his palace Know that Scotch Ale's better than Viagra or Cialis. <laughs> then Burns' his ghost complained, you know it's just not fair. Scotch Ale should be covered by Obamacare. <laughs> Who cares about a lab test, a doctor, or a nurse? Scotch Ale is a treatment they ought to reimburse. <laughs> Out in Colorado, voters cried, Hosanna. Obamacare will pay the cost of medical marijuana. <laughs> we are all entitled to cannabis and nirvana, and weed that's grown domestically, not outsourced to Tijuana. <laughs> then someone told the ghost, there's one thing you got wrong. You're not in Colorado, so put away your bomb. <laughs> St. Louis isn't Denver, no reefer madness here. On Burns Night in St. Louis, you have to stick to beer. <laughs> Burns' ghost then took a sip and said, I'm pleased as hell, the lockout has been ended in the NHL. Now let's all toast the blue note, fill your glasses up, soon we all will drink scotch ale from the Stanley Cup. <laughs> Added all the blues are really solid blokes. They're not like Manti Teo with his silly online folks. <laughs> They'd never have a girlfriend whom they only knew from email. Every blue note girlfriend is a living, breathing female. <laughs> Burns' ghost acknowledged, I'm not a baseball fan, but even Scottish ghosts like me are fans of Stan the Man. <laughs> Played the game with power, agility, and grace. Recalling Stan will put a smile on Cardinal Nation's face. On that note, Burns' ghost gives us all a wave, downs his beer, and says it's time to head back to my grave. With these parting words, he fades into the night. The ghost of Robert Burns has vanished from our sight. 
Now I ask you all to join me in a toast to the spirit of tonight, Robert Burns' ghost. In his lifetime, he enjoyed many pleasures without guilt. Let's raise a glass to one who raised our spirits and his kill. Thank you. Now, the annual address to the haggis.